to create an interesting, striking composition, but most good artists want to use some sort of reference when they're painting, so I'm going to show you how to apply your limited palette to a photo reference. I'm going to start by opening the palette I've chosen, which is called Sane. I like all the weird names for these. And I've opened that in Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to do is declutter my screen so you can see what's going on, is I'm going to make this a custom gradient. The way I do that is I'm going to open my gradient palette, go to Window, Gradients, and I've got my palette right here. All of these are presets. You can certainly use these, but I think the limited palettes are a little more interesting. They create more contrast. They combine colors that we don't normally see blending together. So I'm going to make my own custom gradient. I might choose to do so in my own group. You can call it whatever you want. Now anything I create will be organized inside here. I'm going to go to the plus button to create a new gradient. And from here, I can name my gradient, and I can create it. These two levers up here affect the alpha levels of my gradient, how opa opaque, sorry, how opaque or transparent they are. I'm not worried about those right now. I'm worried about the color stops. If I click on the first one, that selects it, and it also changes my cursor if I mouse over to the eyedropper tool. So I'm going to start going left to right and click each of my colors. To create a second stop, it's pretty easy. I'm going to hold the option key on my keyboard, click on my color, and drag out. It duplicates it. And I can do that, Command D, nope, no Command D for this. I can do that for each color. So I'm going to select that one, eyedropper the new color, option drag out, eyedropper the new color, option drag out, and so on and so forth. I don't need to create one for the last one because it's already sitting there, but what I might need to do is adjust the distance between these or the location of the stop. See how that number changes? And I may need to change the rate at which these blend depending on what I want. If I want a really hard stop, I'm going to push towards the color. If I want something that's more gradual, I'm going to shoot for the middle. And now that I've done that, I'm going to hit New. And inside my folder is a new custom gradient I can use. Ta-da! Okay.